Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I will show you how to represent the data in pie chart manner. Today in this video, I will show you how to represent the data in donut chart. There is a no such a difference between QT donut chart and QT pie chart, but there is a visual effect to represent the data. And so let's start. Just simply include your chart module and include the required basic header file like qt core qt gui qt widgets and qt charts now let's write the same code as a pie chart you pie series Create this series, initialize the object. Now add the appended data. Let's same as a take the subject name, assign the marks. Let's take five values maths, science, geography and uh, physics change the value 10 20 20 and 20 so now our series data is ready now let's create the chart object equal to new chart assign or initialize the ob object legend set visible true also set the title student marks set visible true now add this series Also, you can set the some basic required themes like a uh, set theme, Q chart, chart theme and change the theme as per your this is a available theme so let's use the dark theme now create the chart view to display the our chart Now set the render hint. Set render hint Q painter. Set the anti-aliasing effect and set the visible true. And set this chart view in our central widget. So this is the same code as our pie, pie chart, but in donut chart we have to set one property or you can also call this set function set whole size let's uh, assign the whole size is 0 0.25 now let's run the application I wait for the build okay there is a mistake we have object here now let's run the application this is the mistake we have to pass our chart object in chart view constructor so this is the donut chart 
you can see the there is a difference between pie chart and a donor chart there is a between pole of the our chart also you can set the alignment or uh, alignment of our legend by this set alignment set alignment qt bottom align bottom now let's run the application so you can see the our legend at the bottom also you can set the some effect like pie slice so let's take the create the pie slice take a slice 1 equal to this and set the effect set explode equal to true also set label visible true and set pen like set the pen q pen and pass the your color value let's assign the shine color and change the argument value and set the brush also i suggest you should prefer our my previous video about q pie chart so you can easily get the how these functions work so now let's run the application So you can see the effect also you can set the, this effect multiple times now let's assign the for sign subject copy the same code for the slice 3 and change the object name here take this some different color like red now let's uh, comment out of comment this code theme function and now let's run the application so you can see the effect and by this way you can easily create the donut chart or represented data in donut chart manner and please drop your comment if you have any questions about qt pie chart and donut chart about any chart of point so thanks for watching my video please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video with your friends and play please press the bell icon to get the notification of new video thank you